In this video, we will begin placing civil geometry elements into MicroStation and in En-ROADS. To do this, we're going to first choose the place line between points tool, and we're going to look at the effects of the chain toggle here in the feature toggle toolbar. Notice if we have the toggle turned off, as we place our elements, we place a begin and end on each element, um, and they're not chained together. As soon as I place the end point, it resets, ready for me to start the start point on the next line. Reset out, you'll see I've created four elements. Uh, when I go and look at inroads, I can see each of those four elements there. If I turn the chain on and again go and place lines, you'll notice that as I place the end point on my first line, it automatically becomes the begin point of my next line. And so as I put uh, these five elements together, they're all chained together. And again, as we go on the roads, we can see um, these last four, five, and six, and seven elements were placed. Now, if I want these to become one alignment, I can come over in the Civil Geometry Tools and choose the Complex by Element command. I can make its method automatic with a maximum gap. I'm using a feature. I'm going to create these as the feature definition of green. If I go look at green here, um, I can see that Auto Persist is true. So it's going to automatically create the, a green alignment in my inroads dialog box. Um, so go back to complex by element. It is prompting me to locate first element. I'm going to select it. It has shown solution. It wants me to accept. So I'm going to do a data point and accept. And now uh, when I go to inroads, I can see that the five, six, and seven elements are gone. It chained them together into one called green. I can also go look at that under geometry, uh, linear elements. Um, the elements that initially created the green element are still here in the items browser, uh, but the chained complex element there uh, exists with the name one green.